Don't redline them. They're horrible for your health. In general, you shouldn't really even need to use one. But if I say AIs are basically poison, which in high enough dosages, they're pretty bad for you. This one's not that liver toxic, but some of the other ones are liver toxic. What is up everyone? It's Ruth. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check it out, 1907water.com. Keep on code Russo. ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elephant Carbon. There's your noises. Keep on code Russo. Young LA for this Rambo shirt. Every other discount is in the pinned comment and description below. Welcome back to Peducation. Today I'm covering an AI, Xemestan Aromacin. This is my AI of choice, and I will be going into the history background, as well as my take on Aromacin, as well as how it slots into the underground bodybuilding community. The reference is the Anabolics 11th edition. I highly recommend you buy this if you're into this sort of stuff. So Xemestan Aromacin is a steroidal suicide aromatase inhibitor. So it inhibits the aromatase enzyme from converting testosterone into estrogen. So Xemestain was again approved by the FDA to combat breast cancer in women. However, it trickled into the performance enhancing aspects of being able to block the aromatase enzyme in males. The main benefit we are looking from aromatase and Xemestain is a steroid cycle that has a high conversion of estrogen to mitigate the side effects of gynecomastia, blood pressure issues from excess water retention, aka removing water retention caused from the estrogen bloat, as well as aid in fat loss and overall reveal more muscle definition, especially if you're competing in a bodybuilding show the less estrogen the more defined you look that's why again in bodybuilding shows they blast the strongest ai letrozole which is like way more powerful than exemestane to again show all that fine detail of them throughout their prep and it allows them to place higher at shows that's why ais are used in a clinical setting for example my you know Elevate alternative, there's a plug if you guys want TRT. You can see that Arimidex Xemestane are used along TRT just to stop excess estrogen and to keep your estrogen in range, which the range I like to say is 50 to 80. You know, I don't really like lower than 50. I prefer 80 and we need to keep that in there. If it goes higher, you can have, again, Excess water retention, which puts pressure on the heart, which fucks up your blood pressure, bloating, mood changes, irritability, and of course, gynecomastia, the development of boobs on a male. Exemestane was developed by Upjohn Pharmacia and hit the market in 1999. So originally hit the market being approved as effective at 2.5 milligrams, but the universal scaling dosage as the compounding pharmacies got a hold of it is 25 milligrams. And I will go into my dosing, how I like to do it, as well as the warning and potential side effects of overdoing it later in this video. Okay, so I wanted to read these side effects straight out of the book, which are hot flashes, joint pain, weakness, fatigue, mood change, depression, high blood pressure, swelling, the arms and legs, headache, decreased bone mineral density, and also gastrointestinal side effects. So this is all dosage dependent. And I've made content in the past where I've been like against AIs because I just find people overdo AIs. You know, they read a cycle on the internet, Andrew. You don't know what body fat that person's at, aka if they're at a higher body fat, they have more aromatase. If they're shredded, they basically have none. And if you copy that blankets dosage of an AI, you can be potentially damaging your health. Remember, estrogen is responsible for good cholesterol, HDL. So if you're nuking that into the ground, you're also nuking your good cholesterol into the ground. Another thing to keep in mind is post AI syndrome. So post AI syndrome can happen if you flatline estrogen causes the body to freak out and get stuck in this weird state. I was receiving a bunch of messages since making all the PFS PSSD content around AIs that they got similar symptoms, if not the same symptoms from, you know, redlining AIs. Don't redline them. They're horrible for your health. In general, you shouldn't really even need to use one. But if I say AIs are basically poison, which in high enough dosages, they're 
pretty bad for you. This one's not that liver toxic, but some of the other ones are liver toxic. And it's just like a pretty nasty drug to be using all the time. That being said, I can't say that. And if you keep your estrogen in range, everything's fine and you're using the medication as it's intended. And that makes sense. But if you're just going to blanket copy an Arimidex dosage or an Exemestane dosage without pulling your blood work, seeing where your E2 level is at, if you even need that much AI and thus plummeting your estrogen, crushing your good cholesterol, crushing your libido, fucking up your joints, potentially causing causing permanent irreversible side effects of a syndrome from redlining aka that happens more with letrozole that guy who messaged me i think he was using arimidex actually but i would assume that happens more with letrozole you gotta be careful with these ais also the thing about ais is you're not gonna gain any fucking muscle you need estrogen to build muscle so if you're trying to like oh i want to minimize my blow minimize my water retention and i'm gonna rely on the ai and crush the estrogen in my body instead of getting my body fat down and actually not having as much aromatized when you're fat you have more aromatized when you're fat that's why you know any guy who plays around gear be like why don't you get to like 10 12 percent before you go on gear you're at 25 percent if you take test the amount that's going to aromatize into estrogen is i don't know however many fold higher than the guy who's basically lean going on test you're gonna have like triple the amount of side effects and you're gonna need way more ai to combat the shitty starting point point. and this is just like one of those things where yes it makes sense my dosages with Exemestane when I use it, again, I'm afraid of AIs. I'm not going to lie. I've like never been super adamant about using them. And I've actually spoken against them, like I said. A little bit over the top. I definitely fear mongered a little bit, so shame on me. I'm just being based. It's just like when I dose it, I'll do 12.5 every third day. And if it's bad, every other day. I never do 25 milligrams a day. Never never I'm, I'm too scared of that shit i'm too scared of letrozole you know i'd actually use um what's it called the fucking arimistane which is an even weaker one but arimistane causes heart palpitations and high enough dosages so switch me to exemistane and exemistane like i said pretty terrified of it i've avoided ais most of my career because i knew about all the potential issues of ais in the extreme scenarios i'm not saying they're complete poison but it's like in other countries it's like 50 bucks to check your blood work so you could take an ai go pay 50 bucks see where your estrogen's at okay i need to modulate this up or down here in the united states it's 200 to 500 bucks a pop for blood work you're not gonna check it every week here and see if your ai dosage is fucking you up or not or if you should back up or go on a little bit more like none of that's happening here it's not really you know we don't live in thailand where everything's super cheap we don't live in these european countries where i can go pay 50 bucks and get a full you know, snapshot every other day of the little poly pharmacy experiments I'm doing. So with these AIs, it becomes much more risky. And I just hate seeing that the AI dosage of these steroid cycles is just like bluntly copied. Like, oh, yep, I'm doing this 500 test cycle and I'm going to take 0.5 of Arimidex every day. And you could be already shredded, don't have high estrogen. The testosterone converts mostly to DHT. It doesn't really aromatize that much. And you're nuking your estrogen in the ground, causing tons of issues, ruining your cholesterol, ruining your libido, ruining your mood, ruining your joints. And it's all because you never checked where your et level was at whereas the other guy you know he might be fat as fuck going 500 tests all of it aromatizes and you might need more ai he gets fucking gyno from it you know and ai is a very powerful tool i guess i should harp on that should be used very strategically it's like people make them out as super safe and people abuse a fuck out of ais and it always ends badly but exemestane aromacin is my favorite one it's the one i've always gone towards and it's better in my opinion than arimidex i've tried arimidex i like exemestane better personally i've never had the need to use letrozole except when i fucked around with mint so i skyrocketed my estrogen with mint i used a little tiny amount of letrozole but exemestane normally gets the job done pretty much all the time for anything you're trying to do dosage dependent so hopefully you guys learned something please be careful with these ais it's not fun in games where you start destroying your estrogen right it's not fun in games and there's that potential for that syndrome that i'm currently battling
from something else, aka Lion's Mane. See you guys in my next video.